The ABC News exclusive tonight from the southern border. ABC News on the front lines where a major cartel is taking advantage of impoverished Americans, what they are paying them to do. ABC's Dan Harris is right there on the U.S. border as the bust plays out. We're in the Arizona desert on a Native American reservation. The man in the mask is an undercover federal agent. That is 200 pounds of marijuana, and this is a sting. The agent is posing as a member of the notorious Sinaloa drug cartel, which has for years exploited the impoverished Native American tribe here, enlisting members in their relentless efforts to smuggle drugs into America. In just a few minutes, we're expecting a tribe member to pull up in, uh, in a vehicle and he will load 10 bales of marijuana that are out here in the desert with an undercover uh, ICE agent. Contrabands being loaded into the city. The smuggler's vehicle then taking off, driving further away from the border and deeper into the United States. I'm going in, guys. You go. They're moving right now. After trailing the vehicle for several miles, the officers move in, stopping the car, arresting the suspects. The adrenaline of the chase now gives way to the kind of depressing reality of the people who've been arrested who do not appear to be drug kingpins more likely that they're just people without a lot of options who've gotten co-opted by one of the most powerful drug cartels on earth. The reservation of the Tohono O'odham tribe takes up 60 miles of the U.S.-Mexico border. In March alone, the ICE team seized about 30,000 fentanyl pills and other illegal drugs right here. We drive 100 miles south into Mexico where the supply chain begins. Here, the cartel pays impoverished migrants, like 17-year-old Elmer, to carry drugs over the border and onto the Arizona reservation. As one young man waits to commit a crime, back on the reservation, we watch as another young man, an American, is arrested. Do you want to talk to Grandma before we leave? Yeah. Okay. So he has so he has a warrant for his arrest for what? Uh, for conspiracy to smuggle narcotics. And Dan Harris is back in New York tonight after his reporting trip. And Dan, we were talking about this earlier. As long as you have these impoverished communities on the border, don't you run the risk of having folks who are desperate lured in by these cartels? I mean, that's that's exactly right. As long as you have this level of poverty paired with America's seemingly insatiable appetite for illegal drugs, it's really hard to see how this problem goes away. No, this is incredible footage. And I know you're going to have much more coming up tonight, Dan. Thank you. And again, Dan's full report is reporting from the border later tonight on Nightline after Kimmel right here. Dan will be watching. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.